What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's a hot day out today, it's 85 degrees now. We're getting into the real spring time. Being in the upper 80s every day now. And the chickens are liking it, they're all outside. You don't have to stay cooped up in the hen house to keep warm. The grass is growing in the chicken pen. And in the field. Ducks have been swimming in their pool. I'm about to fill it up again. But it's been going good. I got the garden planted yesterday. Just watered that. So I'll show that here in a few minutes. But we got quite a few things planted there. Should work better because we got a lot better soil this time and it's in a raised bed kind of thing and not in the ground because our soil here is not good but coming up here to the shed this is where two wild birds that have been living up here for over a year now stay they'll roost up there and chill around here for the most part of the day, even though that rooster's been hanging out down by there with the chickens that get out of the pen. But I haven't seen that hen in a week, so when I came up here yesterday to get some hay to clean out the barn and fill up the nests, I saw the little box under here. We have some old pallets that our hay comes on in the fall for the horses. And this is a big bell for the goats and chickens. But saw the little chicken. She's trying to hatch out some more in here. She did good last time. She hatched out two by herself. And they weren't her eggs. They were someone else's. But I think, well, right now it's all her eggs. So to see what luck we have with her. The only rooster is the one she hatched out last year and one rooster that gets out a lot he'll come up here sometimes so it's either them two and she's on over a dozen eggs i saw her yesterday so we'll see if she can hatch out more but she does it all on her own won't let me get near her so nice little cozy spot for her down there See what happens with her. Goats have been doing good. They're sitting under the tree. The little ones over there laying down. The pond is still keeping water pretty good. It used to be really bad at keeping water in it, but it's been raining a lot and it helps it. These guys are doing great. It's crazy to me how fast these things grow. Turkeys, they've barely grown at all, but ducks have gotten so big every single day. They're definitely going to be having to move out here at least next week. Um, probably next weekend um, as soon for the ducks. For the turkeys, they'll probably go out there with them too. And I have a plan for them once they're full grown. Probably going to have them their own pinned to stay in without uh, messing up the chickens or anything. So I'll talk about that more once it happens, but they are doing really good. Getting bigger. Hens are still doing really good on the egg production. Been getting a lot, even though getting warmer outside also have two new broody hens sitting on the nest the other uh black astrolope that was laying she finally broke after i think two or three weeks she was trying and a new black astrolope decided to take her place so she's on there now and then this chicken which i'm not letting either of them do it because they just mess up everything 
when I try. And the chickens that I really think that will sit on eggs, I will usually let in the other hen house to try and hatch some out, but haven't had any good hens do it yet. And I did have another one, which is a third, and she's outside getting a drink right now. Getting a lot of eggs. About to go feed these guys. They're laying on the ground a lot too. Right there and over there. I'm getting eggs. back to the birds later today we did have some other plans to clean out the other hen house here because we're gonna do something we're gonna make this stall kind of of a hen house so we can connect it back to the other pen for the pond to put the ducks and the turkeys in that area and then have the chickens separated onto their own area so that will work a little better but we got our bulk order from Tractor Supply in today, so been messing with that for three hours. Unloaded that off the trailer into our shed, which is a lot of feed. Put a picture on here, but, and that's not even all of it. That's only half of the chicken food. I still have to go get the other half when they have it in because we got all their stocked feed in, out. They have to order some more in but we'll be good for a few months on feed for the chickens and horses all right in the hen house now see how many eggs we can get it's looking like quite a bit i know there's a lot under her because she was off her nest earlier she probably has a dozen under her but we are getting so many eggs i'm fully stocked where i sell them and i'm backed up like 10 dozen at the house, so a lot of eggs coming through right now. I had to do a sale. I'm doing one dollar a dozen, which is really cheap for eggs here. So we did get the garden set up. I'll put a picture on the screen of how we have it, and we have it. It's bigger than it looks in the picture, but and we also have a few other pots off to the side that I didn't put on there, but we have. 10 different plants we have onions which is the most i have those in a couple other pots off to the side and in one of the big yellow things and then we have tomatoes asparagus um squash I'm trying to remember all of them we got peas we have strawberries that i planted off to the side and then we have bell peppers jalapenos and one other that I can't remember, but I think total we have 12 plants, including the two other smaller ones that we have. I can't remember the other one, but chickens are doing good. I did clip two roosters' wings today because I kept flying out, getting out. That wild rooster's been out here lately. He did get in the pen, but the other roosters went after him, so he got out fast. I was going to see how he worked with the other chickens, but I'll leave him on his own for now while his mom's sitting on eggs, too. But see how many eggs we can get today. Ended up with just about four dozen eggs, so a little lower than normal for now, but it's going to start decreasing with the warmth and all these chickens going broody all of a sudden. So... I can expect that and it's springtime and that means that this is the season for chickens getting sick and I never had a problem with it that much except one year two years back everybody pretty much I'd say half of the flock got an eye bug 
in, and I can look up the name, but I don't remember what it was. Um, it's a little kind of sickness disease that starts in their um, nasal area, and it affects their vision, and it closes up their eyes. It gets all mucus and everything up in there, and it kind of just stops them up. I got this guy. He was closing his eye. It was a little swollen earlier today. He closed it a little bit there. I don't want to shine the light in it, but I think he's okay. But he's the only one I've seen. So I'm going to keep an eye out for anything. But that's the only year it happened, and I think I had three birds die from it. And the rest of them were kind of just fought it off on their cells and two of them almost died but I helped nurse them back to life and so just watch out for that and if any of them do come down with anything I'll treat that appropriately so hopefully this season isn't bad for anything thanks so much for watching the video guys make sure to share the videos with your friends and I'll see you next time